Hi, my name is Ron Hoffman. I'm the Albert A. Vera G. List Professor of Medicine at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine here in New York City. Um, I'm also a member of the Tisch Cancer Institute and my interests, academic interests, essentially revolve around myeloproliferative disorders, hematologic malignancies, and stem cell biology. And I've also been had the opportunity to be one of the lead editors of a textbook of hematology called Hematology, Basic Principles and Practice. The way I got to write this textbook is that I was really somewhat satisfied, dissatisfied I should say, with the textbook of the day. I found them flawed and not terribly useful because I was both doing laboratory investigation and was doing clinical care and they really didn't fit those needs. And that's ultimately how this, this textbook grew. It was the hope that we could develop a scientifically based textbook of hematology that was comprehensive in nature and would be useful to, to individuals that were not only doing clinical medicine, but also doing scientific research. And it would serve as a bridge of those two disciplines. Science is constantly changing. Our textbook is constantly changing. There are new technologies that are being developed to study both malignant and non-malignant hematologic disorders. We have kept on a very tight schedule of essentially uh, having new editions of this textbook every five years. And we've essentially tried to, we've tried to incorporate each of the new technologies and emphasize not only the technology, but the application of that technology to, to investigation in hematology and also how those tools can be used to further the diagnosis and treatment of patients with hematologic disorders. Well, I think that's just a very exciting thing. I mean, it's taken all of us uh, probably about we're in our sixth edition, and in, when we were doing our first edition, we were actually talking about um, electronic forms of this uh, of this book. Uh, we've tried to do that at various degrees, but I think, with the help of our publisher, in this uh, on, on this go around, we've made uh, stupendous uh, advances in making the content of this book much much more available. Uh, in electronic form, which I think will only increase the utility and accessibility of this particular book. So I view that as a really positive uh, experience and a new modality of education. I think this book, this sixth edition, is absolutely our best edition. We've used, we have excellent authors, we have knowledgeable authors, we've utilized um, more photo micrographs. John Anastasi, essentially, is, who's at the University of Chicago, is a metapathologist who's an editor of our book. We've elevated him to editor status, and that's really allowed us to have much greater use of photo micrographs and pathology, integrating pathology into this book. So this book is really, I think, the culmination of the other five editions, and we've really made massive progress with this edition. And also, I think we've had a lot, a greater degree of synergy between the editors, um, and it's just been a very satisfying experience to put this book together. We're always looking for new drug targets. We always ask the authors to identify new drug targets. So as the book has evolved, we have always been on the forefront of, sh of demonstrating efficacy of new agents and also identifying the agents that are under development for the treatment of these kinds of blood, blood disorders. My experience with Elsevier, especially this go around, has been super. I mean, I, I, I have the professionalism of the staff, um, the timeliness um, to meeting deadlines, the receptiveness to suggestions, um, the collegiality has been outstanding.